Hello everybody, this is Xenarchite 82543, welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Er, pfft, what am I saying? Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, and I'm sorry if you noticed my rupee count and items are different-ish. I, my computer deleted this, the original recording of this video, and so I had to re-record, I had to replay everything up until this point. Which honestly didn't take that long, but it was rather annoying. But I did it for you guys. So, we're back here in the temple. And that's why I didn't upload. That's why there was a mistake of uploading. I was replaying three hours of this game. Well, it's only three hours if you skip every cutscene, all the cutscenes which I did. Don't worry, we should be back to normal now. Oh yeah, there's also that guy. Go away. I believe this is where I left off. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But I know I, I'm pretty sure I've uploaded. Yeah, because the video that I lost was basically the boss fight everything. Like, you missed the boss fight. And me finding out about how to get the treasure chest, which I'm going to show you right now because I know how to do it. It's this one down here, it's 50 rupees. Also, I did get some of the treasure chests I showed off, just because I was avoiding rupees so much. I did get the 20 rupees from inside the hotel and the 50 rupees from lighting the torches in the graveyard of Kakarika Village. But yeah, I think in the original recording I wasn't able to carry that, but I've been better about not picking up every rupee I see, so I can empty out the, these this area. It's like you gotta choose what you wanna be OCD about. I'm I choose to be OCD about rupees in the dungeons, not outside of them. But anyway. I believe yeah, I'm pretty I know I'm pretty sure the I know the video left off at the beginning of the room last time. So in case yeah. But just so you know, this is a different file. It, I named everything the same, and I redid everything I did in the last videos, I think. I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. I didn't do anything stupid like miss, like a piece of heart or something. I have eight pieces of heart right now. Probably the same eight. I have six bugs. What else? I'm pretty sure I'm only missing rupees because I changed which rupees I picked up. I didn't pick up as many of the other rupees. I did discover a few things, like one chest in the Theron Woods. I didn't pick it up though because I didn't pick it up first time. And it's just rupees, so there's no reason to. There's probably going to be like 10 rupees. Anyway. Time for a fun shot. Yeah, we get to do that. That's fun. That's a thing. And the other chest in this room, I still have no idea how to get. I'm gonna come back. I'm not gonna come back for it, probably. I'm just gonna say we don't- we can't get it. But let's head into the last room. Ugh. That's the one that was shooting at me.
Hey, that's not fair. Pick out the archers. That's all I really needed there. Creep back up here. They're all pretty bad at what they do, to be honest. No, I need to fill up my heart health. I'm missing a quarter of a heart. Well, well if you do. But yeah, I just couldn't skip the last video. I was gonna consider, I was considering it, but it, you, you guys would have missed a boss fight and like three pieces of heart. Literally three. Like, that's how many I got. Yay, I don't have to be OCD about stuff. I did use the fairy, I should say. I should say, I did and an use the fairy. And also discovered that Wolf Link can use fairies. Like, fairies can save Wolf Link. So, I think there was a fairy in here, right? Wasn't there? Or was it earlier? I think it was earlier in this room. I know there's a fairy in this room somewhere. I'm sorry. I apologize for doing this. But I really would like this fairy. Because I know it exists. Well, I guess not. We can do without the fairy. We don't need the fairy. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, let's just head in here. Boss room. Second dungeon boss. Let's do this. And I will probably just make this the same thing as last the last one. With getting the three pieces of heart afterwards. We get a bunch of stuff right after this temple, so I'm kinda looking forward to that. Yes. Oh, there's an eye on your head. Yeah. Uh, the, this guy, I hate getting the first hit on him, but once I have a hit on him, I can just trap him in a cycle where I can just keep killing him, where he can just keep getting hits on him, and then once I get him, and then I can kill him pretty easily, but it's kind of hard to get the first one on him. But we have... As soon as he finishes tearing the chains out and stuff. Twilight Igniter Virus. My problem here is that... Is that... That's one of the problems. Then this is a problem, too. Well, no, now it's easy. It's just hard to get to him. But then once you do that, you can, like, run, or run over to the other side of the arena, get your bow ready, and just go to town. Well, once... Wait for him to turn around. Then just shoot him again. Iron boots. This is all you need to do for this boss. The 
there was no finish command, I'm just confirming that. This seems to be pretty far away. Get my bow ready. And then... Yeah! Gotcha! That was cool, actually. I think he left something on the ground. Never mind. Yay! And that was Fyrus. Not that hard. Get the fused shadow, of course. Oh, so we're fighting against exams. <laughs> Just one more fused shadow, oh yeah. And that's just Darbus. He's cool. I want this. I love these little, I love the boss rooms like, after how like relaxing it is. It's just kind of all a symmetrical room, which looks kind of boring, but I mean, you never spend any time in here after the boss fights. Goodbye boss room for the second dungeon, I'll miss you. I really will miss all the boss rooms, especially the first dungeon. That one was really cool. Like, I'm sorry. Also, yeah, you can see, I'm in the third slot. This is saved right after I recorded the other one. And look, look at how short a time I did it. I got up to the dungeon in three hours. As you can see, I'm only three and a half hours in, because I skipped all the cutscenes, but... Yeah. So it took a lot less time when I was, it takes a lot less time when I'm not recording, but I want to record, of course, because you guys need to see this. Oh yeah, you, you exist. I'm guarded by the spirit on Nehru, okay. Cool. Yeah, I did name all the characters the same. Horse, our horse is still Zelania. Sorry. Ah, I do have to save Ilya. You're right. That's why I did this all over again. We have to save Ilya. Yeah, there was no way I was gonna like skip this. I mean, maybe if it was just kind of running around doing stuff, doing random stuff, but we did so, like, I did so much in the other video, I, like, I'm so glad I'm redoing this. And I'll probably just continue in this file, because, I mean, they're the same. Well, once I get everything else and that I got, once I just, I just have to get a few things that, in Kakariko Village, and then they'll be the same, basically with a few chests unopened in the other one, in this, in the other one, that I opened in this one. Just a few ruby chests. Oh yeah, the ancient hero. 
I'm like the hero from the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Sorry. I need to stop being like all over the music. But it's so good. So things to do. Like things we have to do. While we're here. Or we should do. Well I mean we have to do this, but there's a few pieces after this there's a few pieces of heart and an optional item that's actually very useful that I'm gonna get in this video. The bomb shop is open. Yeah, I'll pay 120 rupees, sure. We have the bomb bag with bombs in it. And I got rid of a bunch of my rupees. That's really nice. Now we leave out the upper exit because there's another thing to get. <laughs> we have to go all the way up here. Side, of course. First, up the ladder here. I believe there's a, this treasure chest. I think contains fifty rupees. I'm not gonna open it because, honestly, I don't need the money. There's way too many rupees in this game. I'm not gonna bother with all of them. Like, I'm really not gonna bother with all the rupees. I just really wanted to clear out the temples. Because treasure chests left in temples bother me. Treasure chests left, like, just lying in some random cave somewhere or in some building. It doesn't matter that much. Yeah, let's show you. How, let's show them how to use a bow. I, yay! Back. Remember this part of the game. Back at like the beginning of the game. Maybe like part three or something. Part two or three. This thing. This is so annoying to hit. You have no idea. You probably do have an idea. Whoa! Two arrows? That thing is like... Five, pi five pixels tall by one... Or like, ten pixels tall by one pixel wide. It's ridiculously... You have to be ridiculously precise. But when you do that... You get a piece of heart. And a new item becomes available at Malomart after doing that. I'm gonna get the other two pieces of heart really quick. The Hawkeye. Yes. Take a hundred rupees off of my hands. I want this item. It's basically a sniper mode for your bow. So yeah, you have to do the shot without it. But once you can if you do that, you unlock the sniper mode, which is so useful later on. I'm gonna need that. Well not need it, but I'm gonna make the use of it later. It's basically essential to getting through a certain area later. Well, you don't need it to get through the area, but it's essential if you want to get through that area without getting caught. And by caught I mean like Mm, you'll, you'll see. Actually, we do want to do a bomb arrow combo. And by the way, 
a gen- as a general thing, I never go to the bomb shop again. Like, I rarely go to the bomb shop in this game. Okay, thanks for, like, letting me into this. Yay! Another heart. And we have this thing. This cave has been opened, which lets us get back here. To basically another fishing spot. There's a lot of fishing spots. You can fish here, you can fish You can fish in a lot of places. You can fish in the Farren Woods in the Farren Woods spring. You can't fish in the Orden Spring, but you can fish in the village. I'm not gonna like go over them in detail. If I do, I might do a separate fishing video thing. Or a series or a set of fishing videos, but I'm not gonna like incorporate it into the main thing. The only things I will incorporate into the main thing, any that are at all related to fishing, are the things you get in the fishing hole that are actually useful. Which I'm not gonna say what they are because they're spoilers, but there's useful stuff in the fishing hole. And so, of course, I'll get that in like the main series, but. Definitely not doing fishing, because honestly, I don't even know how any of the stuff about the fishing. I just wanted to leave it open. But yeah, I think that'll do it for this video. I got everything I did last time. We're up to seven hearts now, with an extra heart piece, too, which is nice. We've cleared out Kakarika Village, and next time... Actually... Yeah, next time we're gonna go bomb some walls and stuff. And, well, we're not gonna, we're only gonna bomb like one wall and explore the field to the north of Kakarika Village. See you then.